Welcome to Season 7, The NGO Grit. This season, Just Talk Therapy podcast brings you the stories of some amazing people who dedicated their time, money, energy, etc. selflessly, just for a cause. They held humanity first and thus made a difference in the society in their own ways. Today, we have an inspirational lady, Ms. Archana Suresh, with her NGO, Bring a Smile Foundation. Welcome to the show, ma'am. Thank you so much, uh, Hinaji. It's a pleasure being here. Thank you for your time. And if you can just tell our listeners about yourself and the NGO. Sure, of course. Uh, so my name is Archana Suresh, and I'm founder and managing trustee of a registered charitable trust called uh, Bring a Smile Foundation. Uh, we started in Hyderabad in the year 2012. Uh, back then, the objective um, was to be a conduit between the haves and the have-nots. Uh, so essentially, kya hua tha ki, uh, my mom in a casual conversation had asked uh, you know, if we could uh, somehow channelize items that we all have in our home, you know, whether it is used with reusable clothes, toys, footwear, whether we could move these items uh, from our homes to areas that and to people that need it. Um, so what started in 2012 as uh, an attempt to, uh, you know, accelerate that uh, objective uh, has grown to uh, a mini movement, uh, if I may. Um, in 2022, we are, uh, you know, we are a completely volunteer run uh, NGO. We, uh, we are 500 people all over the world. Uh, we collect these items that are uh, that are found in homes and we distribute them to the poor and underprivileged in uh, in the city and also rural parts of Telangana in particular because you know we are in touch with the district administration in uh, a lot of districts in Telangana. We also support three pillars: education, healthcare, infrastructure, uh, infrastructure assistance. So you know, education is we we sponsored the education of more than 300 students. Uh, you know, we've helped in. Uh, payment of medical bills of a lot of people along the way. And uh, we built classrooms in government school. We just finished uh, building, uh, renovating say, 70 toilets in a girls, government girls school near Nagarjun Sagar Dam. Um, and, you know, we've sponsored books and uniforms and stationery, uh, the works really for students. Uh, so that in a nutshell is, uh, has been the Bring a Smile journey over the past 10 years. And of course, needless to add, nothing would have been possible without the wonderful support of people on the team and some very generous donors that we've uh, met along the way. Yeah. That's wonderful. And you are targeting especially the important areas that is so valuable for those people who are in need, especially when you talk about the toilet part and uh, the infrastructure, the renovation of mm -hmm. the schools and all. That is like so much needed right now. Uh, thank you, Hinaji. Yes, of course. I mean, I think, uh, yeah, you, you know, for especially for girl children, uh, the, the dropout rate of girls students from government schools is very high because they don't have access to toilets. So, uh, you know, there was a need. And, and, and like I said, we keep servicing these requests whenever they come to us because, uh, um, you know, the, the, the aim and objective is to improve the quality of uh, uh, students in particular, you know, children and students, because they are the future of the country. Uh, so we've got to do as much as we as we can to sort of make them future ready. Um, and and yes, during COVID also, just in one quarter, April to June last year, 2021, when there was, uh, you know, the second wave, we deployed more than 10 lakh rupees worth of relief. So sent a lot of uh, provisions to migrant workers. Um, and uh, I mean, the, the you know, humanity has really suffered over the past two years, uh, ever since the pandemic struck. So. Uh, the aim is to try and, uh, you know, just alleviate suffering to whatever extent possible. And hats off to you and to the entire team for doing this work selflessly, as I mentioned earlier. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And what inspired you to do this kind of work? You did mention that uh, it was a casual conversation which took the shape of this NGO. Yes, actually, in, in 2012, in the beginning, my mom, in a casual conversation on the phone, had asked me, you know, can you uh, can you do something like this? Because she was looking through, she was rummaging through the cupboard for something, and, and she could find everything else except what she was looking for. So uh, I think that set her thinking, and, and she uh, 
thought that you know if i am going through this i'm sure there are lots of, there's there are lots of people who will empathize with this right because we have a lot of stuff in our, our cupboards our shelves that we may not use Absolutely. and uh, you know in a country like india where uh, poverty is so stru- is so stark um, you know she had to- she told this you know she mentioned this to me and in 2012 i had just uh, my daughter was barely uh, one year old i i have this one child of course she's 10 years old now but uh, i was so busy with my daughter you know and and aise hota hai na with with moms and dads we are you know always in a hurry to sort of um, finish a conversation and and move on to something else that on our to do list so i'm like okay mama let's see what you know let's you know okay well, i'll talk to you later it was it was one of those conversations but i think somewhere my mom sowed the seed of that idea and in 2012 when we conducted this collection drive in my apartment community we are, i say in a, a in an apartment community where there are 600 flats or apartments in hyderabad and uh, there were uh, you know 40 households that came forward and donated so many clothes toys books footwear somebody donated a fan somebody donated a tv um uh, so it was a ton of items that really came to us and 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 speaking of which uh, from 2012 to 2022 we literally distributed more than 80 tons of items uh, so wow. that's a mammoth figure yeah it's it just uh, it's been uh, it's been quite a long journey and like they say in hindi right uh, uh, log jutte gaye karwa badhta gaya Absolutely. Uh, a lot of people uh, yeah people uh, you know uh, wonderful people really joined uh, joined the effort and uh, i i still remember this one incident when we were uh, you know just before the collection drive in october 2012 uh, i remember the newspaper wala told me madam meeru charity kosam chestunte nen free ga distribute chestanu which distribute which which uh, which meant that he said i will distribute pamphlets free letting people know of this uh, initiative of yours if you're doing this for charity i, I will do it for you free of course so you know it is a classic case you know ji of that line yeah, right. in uh, the alchemist you know jab, uh, when you really want to do something the whole universe conspires to make it happen right this cheez ko shiddat se chaho to fir puri kainat uh, you know jut jati hai to to make it happen so it was a lot of people coming together over the years and uh, and and my mother used to say that people want to help they just don't know how to absolutely so, because that is very you know, important right and that's very true and relevant right of the times we live in and and this happened in 2012 what happened unfortunately during that year was that my mother was diagnosed with third stage breast cancer so 2013 went by in a blur because i was taking her for her chemotherapy sessions you know trips to hospitals um i, I was also working uh, for uh, a company uh, i was working for microsoft at that point and Uh, so i spent 14 years working for the corporate um, you know so uh, you know uh, and business file was uh, an endeavor that went on alongside a full time job and looking after my daughter and you know my husband of course has been a big support but essentially the idea was my mother's and then in 2013 she was uh, you know we were treating her for cancer in 2014 my world broke because she passed away in june and uh, it just i mean that completely shattered me and i think uh, i i i think i i made a resolve to myself uh, that i would try and be an instrument of help in whatever way possible wherever i could be uh, from then on and uh, yeah so uh, you have to answer your question uh, you know bring a smile foundation is an ode to my mom's spirit uh, of compassion and kindness really so yeah firstly i'm sorry for your loss and uh, thank you yes indeed she had uh, sown the seeds and mm-hmm. she has taught probably now listening to you also and i'm sure others can relate how to detach mm-hmm. with the emotional attachment with things and convert mm-hmm. it to bring a smile in others life mm-hmm. and that thank reverberates you. with your foundation name thank you <laughs> yeah. yes and uh, so nice. any um, of course you said that that was a tough moment but then how did you cope during those tough moments uh i think uh, yes it was a very dark period after i lost her also because uh, you know you don't realize how attached a close one is to a parent or to a loved one till they leave the world uh so i think uh, in in my case uh, i joke that i have a very strong uh uh strong doer spirit so i you know i i i wanted to of course uh 
try and be of some use to humanity. And there was also constant, uh, I think there's also faith or prayer, right? That uh, sometimes when you when you when you go through lows, you try you turn to a higher power, right? To to try and um, you know to to you know just just uh, begging to be shown the light. Uh, so that so so I think that that faith in the in, in a higher power saw me through this and also I, I leaned heavily on some uh, close friends because uh, I think uh, um, friends and family uh, the ones who know you will understand your pain uh, you know if you communicate it to them so uh, it was that uh, combination of uh, friends and family and faith in the in the, in the maker or, or you know God or, or a higher power that uh, that saw me through uh, that phase really and your uh, mother yes. had uh, actually shown you the path where to lead and that's where you are leading <laughs> and bringing this smile because, you know, uh, as you said, people want to help, but they don't know how to mm-hmm. help. So mm-hmm. she had actually told you how you can be of help. In some ways, ironically, yes, yeah, you're right. I mean, you know, she, I think, laid the foundation. And uh, and then, of course, we're trying to build in whatever little small way we can. You're doing amazing oh, yeah. work. Thank you. And uh, anything that you would like to share with the youth or how the youth can contribute or what should they do as they are also pursuing their career or their own personal life? Yes, actually, uh, so I lost my mom when I was 32 years old and uh, essentially when uh, you know when we started out uh, in when, when when i started out on bigger smile there was no template that i could have followed you know so my uh, quick two cents to the youth is one is uh, there's no point cribbing about a system or a status quo unless you can roll up your sleeves and get to work and change it so uh, like they of course uh, mahatma gandhi once said that be the change you want to be uh, so it is, uh, of course, an earnest appeal to to a lot of youngsters listening that uh, uh, that that they should, you know, get up and and be the change really, instead of uh, you know maybe lamenting about lapses in our administration or our system really, um, and uh, and of course uh, I also uh, believe that people should start small. You know, there's no point in saying. Uh, and I once I uh, earn enough money to buy a you know one bedroom flat, I will start doing charity. I don't think it works like that. You need to start small. You need to start with you know something as small as you know you're packing the leftovers after you eat at a restaurant and giving it away to somebody who will really treasure the meal, or uh, you know uh, not diverting uh, the roads. I still find people littering roads, right? Uh, Bus mein ja rahe hai, auto ya car mein ja rahe hai, and then you're eating a banana and then you actually toss the peel out of the window. So, you know, it is, I, I just think that to, to make a difference, we just have to watch our own actions, you know, and, uh, uh, and if everybody does that, then the big picture will take care of itself. Uh, so, so start small, if, whether it means looking for, uh, attempting to sponsor partially even the, the fees of your mage daughter or son, uh, or your, you know, driver's uh, kid or a security guard's uh, kid, really. Uh, so, so start small, but keep at it. Because, uh, you know, the other thing I've learned over the past 10 years is that you have to be very persevering. Uh, in whatever you do, yes, but more so in the development sector, because there's so much that needs to be done, right? When I mean, you help one person, uh, there'll be another 10 people who will line up, who will queue up, or who will need that kind of help. So it's important to stay, um, you know, patient and, and be persevering in your effort. But and it's also important to get started. Don't postpone it to a later date when you when you think you'll have the money or the time or the you know bandwidth. So start small, but just start. That's a very good reminder for all of us to get started and not wait for some time later in life, rather than just. Uh, you know, pursuing whatever way or in whatever way you can do whatever work that you can do. So that's a very good small advice having a very powerful big impact. Thanks. And uh, any story that you would like to share? 
or any anecdote uh, any experience which stands out in your memory uh any uh, see the thing is when we used to go on these distribution drives and when i say distribution drive i mean that we would distribute old but reused clothes toys footwear to uh, you know uh, people in slums or outside government hospitals um i remember that uh, you know uh, during our drives initially we would distribute these items uh, and you know word would spread so there would be a, a flock of people around us i mean people would flock around us and then we would give away you know say a sari a pair of trousers jute bachon ke liye you know pair of footwear and a uh, word would spread amongst people there that you know stuff is being given away and by the end of the a uh, distribution drive i would actually have uh, dry uh, blood marks on my arm right because people dig into your you know uh, forearm uh, wanting something uh, you know out of that you know that entire lot of uh, you know items that we were distributing so there would be you know nakhun ke nishan like they say right you know and and i i you know i remember looking at my arm uh you know more than once because there would be such a mad rush to to pick up items because uh the need in india is so high um and uh, and like i said uh, you know jitna karo kam hai in in a country like ours and so that was one incident that used to recur uh, you know uh, on the distribution drives that we used to go for uh, and then there was this one other uh, time when uh, uh i i remember the look on a man's face when uh, we gave his 7 year old uh, a pair of uh, uh, a pair of shoes and uh, uh he looked at me and told me in my lo- in, in the local language that is telugu he said madam this is his first pair of footwear you know at the age of 7 so uh you know on the one hand that was heartbreaking that you know uh, even children in cities you know children from regular middle class upper middle class homes get so much um early on and here was a boy who was seven years old getting his first pair of uh, footwear uh, so i can't forget i can't forget the look on the on the father's face you know he was so grateful uh, to get that pair of footwear and uh, yeah so these are just uh, you know some of the uh um, you know a uh, million uh, human stories that we encounter um and uh, yeah i mean i go i could go on you know ji i can imagine <laughs> but, uh, but but i also have to also mention this one particular incident uh, uh, that happened in 2020 when the lockdown was uh, imposed and there was a lady in muscat and and here i'm switching gears a little bit uh, this was a case of domestic violence and and and, and you must have uh, heard that during the uh, lockdown the number of domestic abuse cases went up um, you know manifold because people were at home and there was a lady in muscat who called her sister in the us who called us in hyderabad and said that look my uh, my sister is being physically assaulted by her spouse and uh, she's got a 6 year old son and she needs help uh, and you know we went into a huddle here in 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 hyderabad uh, wondering what we could do and then we we have a Uh, we have a, a bunch of people a chapter of bring a smile in in, in the middle east as well so uh, you know sent word there and uh, you know our, our team member there spoke to uh, someone on an airline um, and uh, believe it or not in uh, you know june 2020 uh, on the first flight out of muscat uh, this young woman and her son were on it on their way to india so uh, you know it was it was it must we have such been, a, hmm. yeah we were so uh, we heaved such a sigh of relief and it was uh, such a uh, such a satisfying experience that we were able to literally uh, you know make a difference in 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 her life because uh, she it was fearing for her life it was like a life and death situation really uh, but uh, you know got her out uh, <laughs> by coordinating uh, you know with so many stakeholders and i always believe it's always team effort right you can you can never do uh, too much on your own uh, one person uh, can only do so much but it was just wonderful people who came together uh, you know from three countries and, uh, and and brought this lady and her son safely out of there uh, back to her home in india so yeah that's that's wonderful <laughs> and uh, if people would like to connect with you or would like to be a part of your organization or do something similar 
So how mm-hmm. should they connect with you? If you could share your social media link. Sure. So uh, bring a smile. Uh, we have we are active on social media. We have a, a Facebook page, of course. It's called. Uh, I mean, the URL would be facebook. dot com slash bring a smile Hyderabad. Uh, but if I may just add, we have we have five hundred people across the uh, across the globe, and we have nine geographies uh, that we uh, where where we have uh, members uh, from Bring a Smile who who reside there. uh so we have a facebook page uh we have a we have an insta page a twitter handle um and uh, yeah it's it, it's essentially on these three social media um uh three, three social media platforms that we have our presence in case anybody wants to reach out to us i think uh, if they send us a message via facebook that typically uh, works fastest um i can always uh, you know speak to uh, speak to the concerned person and and like i said since we operate a lot via whatsapp we have groups really designated uh, in different cities and you know we are happy to sort of have more hands on deck people who are willing to help humanity because that is the core essence of bring a smile right we are here to do our bit for humanity so yeah i hope that answers your question yes it does and uh... to all the listeners if you all want to connect with ma'am so please do check out her facebook page as she had said that that is the easiest and the most responsive place and ma'am you all are doing such a great job and i pray that we all can just get up and be there on the crown and with a smile <laughs> thank you nadi yes that's that's the whole uh, objective and idea that uh, you know we just do whatever we can uh, to 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 bring a smile on someone's face because life is short and we have to make it count true and do keep inspiring all of us including me and others and spread the positive light it thank was, you so much <laughs> it was great learning about what you all are doing and getting so much of information that how we all can start in small ways thanks a lot for sharing your experience and your journey thank you so much nagi for having me over thanks a lot see you soon see you soon bye bye this is miss archana suresh from hyderabad india with her ngo bring a smile foundation What started as a casual conversation between a mother and daughter is now talk of the town. Acting as a bridge from have to have nots, her aim is to improve the quality of the needy people, especially the girls. With a strong faith in almighty, prayers and her support system, she strives to expand her smiling wings with each project and services her team offers. She said that to make the change it needs to start from self. Our action should be monitored and we should volunteer in whatever way we can. We should start small but be consistent was her advice. The work done by volunteers is priceless. It is indeed a conscious effort by each one of them that helps to make a difference in other people's lives and with that Her vision is to service the legitimate request of help across the philanthropic spectrum. On that note, let's take a vow to contribute back to the society and make it a better place for all of us and indeed a more inclusive one. That brings us to the end of this wonderful inspirational episode. Next week, same time, hope to see you with our another guest and their amazing journey till then take care and be safe bye